Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and this morning I'm hoping to do a decent A-B test between the Yaesu FTX-1 and the ICOM IC705. Uh, the source this morning will be the CWOP CW test. Uh, hopefully I'll have some close-in, fairly strong CW signals to use, uh, hopefully within 500 hertz of the desired signal. I'll be using an A-B switch. And the connectors are the same manufacturer. The cables are the same manufacturer. I will have a separate microphone for each radio going into a st as a stereo input into my iPhone, which I'll use for the video. So everything should be the same. I'll try and get the levels as close as I can. And we will run the test. I will set the radios up the same. Uh, typically, I run uh, DSP, noise reduction, usually at a 1 or a 2. Uh, I probably won't run any RF gain today. Um, let's see. I will run the volumes about the same. I'll equalize them on, on here. And uh, both, I'm going to set both filters to 250 hertz. Because uh, any more than that, and they'll be ringing from both radios. Uh, the, the CW test, if it's really active, the uh, spacing is quite close. So this should be a lot of fun. Anyhow, I'm going to set up, and it starts, uh, starts in about 40 minutes. So I'll get back to you in just a bit.
All right. Well, that was the test during the CWOps CW test. I uh, found some pretty close in signals. Uh, the first, about the first half of the prior clip, it was a strong signal next to a weak signal. And there was some ringing in both receivers. Um, approximately the same, maybe a little less in the FTX one. Uh, but there was a little bit ringing. Um, and that was a strong signal next to a weak signal. Flipping that around, I then switched to the strong signal with a weak signal next to it, and there was no ringing. And so uh, I think in general, both radios performed about the same. Um, I really I really can't see a, from a performance perspective, perspective I really can't see much of a difference when it comes to the filtering both radios were set up about the same I had my digital noise reduction set to about two on each no RF gain uh, no not of course no notch filters but um, they were both running about the same some of the differences the IC705 I believe has a lower noise floor than the FTX one. And the reason why I say that is one of my beginning clips, I just had the radios listening to static. You know, there was no, uh, no signals present per se. However, when I switched it to the 705, I could faintly hear some CW signals in the background. Of course, that what they weren't on the waterfall, the S meter was not moving, and when I switched to the FTX1, I could not hear that same signal switching back and forth. So the ICOM can hear a little better than the FTX1. Um, you know, it's not, and, and that signal is not going to be a signal you're going to work. Uh, so, but it does hear a little bit better. For a discerning CW op, that might make a difference. Uh, typically, most people can copy a CW signal to the noise level, and then good ops can go one S unit below, and then some very good ops can go below that, maybe maybe another half an S unit. So it does make a little bit of difference. Um, Listening to the two radios, the receivers, they both sound about the same. I mean, you might not be able to hear it on the YouTube video, but I'm sitting here with both of them in front of me. In fact, if you're, you know, if you're looking at my video right now, I am sitting right behind my iPhone. And so I was able to hear both uh, receivers, and they both sound the same. They probably use the same ADC chip. That being said, the audio on the FTX1 is louder than the 705. It has a bigger speaker. It probably has bigger speakers. And it probably has more, uh, a larger audio amplifier. So the audio... On the FTX1, the quality of the audio, not the receiver, is better on the FTX1, mainly because of its speaker and audio port design and probably the audio amplifier. However, the basic receivers sound the same. The volume on the FTX1 for this little exercise was turned down much lower than the 705. Um, for some people, that may be important. However, for me, typically when I'm operating CW, it doesn't matter if I'm at home or in the field. I'm typically wearing either earbuds or headphones. Sometimes I'll go without, but most of the time, because of my hearing, I can. I prefer to have earbuds or headphones. I can pull out those, those weaker signals. Um, in general... Whatever I can hear on one, I can hear on the other. They both sound 
about the same. The filtering sounds about the same. Maybe a slight edge to the FTX1. Is it enough to make somebody sell their 705 and buy an FTX1? No, I don't think so. It's not that it's not that much of a difference and it's really hard to discern. And that's why I say it might be a little better. And again, this is me sitting in front of both radios at the same time, switching back and forth on the same signal. Um, so, so the reality is the, the filtering works. Again, I had the filtering set on both radios to 250 hertz. And they both did a really good job during the CW test. Uh, you can work any signal that I dialed in on, I could easily work. There was no, no interference, uh, maybe a little interference when I had the strong signal next to the weaker signal. It had a little bit of, a little bit of rain, but that was in both receivers. Maybe a little less in the FTX one. So, uh, Really, they, they balance out, I think. I think, again, it's, it's kind of like the way I feel about the FT710 and the IC7300. Um, whichever one, whichever brand that you are married to, get that radio. I have, I have all sorts of different radios. I have, I have Yesus. I have Icoms. My favorite CW rig at home is a Kenwood. And plus, I have an Elcraft KX2, so I have different radios. I'm not really a fanboy. My preference is is towards ICOMs, and, and maybe I'll do a YouTube video or a blog post about that. But um, in general, um, I think both radios are fine. The Right now, the FTX1 is a little bit lagging behind the 705, and that's mainly due to its newness. And things aren't available, like there isn't a, um, a cat command set for things like FT8 and probably F and, and FL rig. So there's that. You don't have that. And eh, a couple of this is and that. Um, but both radios are fun, and both radios will do the job. Um, you know, the, the ICOM does have some advantages. It is a lighter weight radio. It is... It is slightly smaller than the FTX-1, but um, in general, they're really both about the same size. The ASU does weigh more, and that may be the price you pay for the audio quality, which is better than the ICOM. The, the receivers are about the same. So with the icon being having a slightly lower noise floor and I'm be, and able to pick out signals further down into the noise. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, um, you know, using, you know, using the, the YouTube as a real discernment, you know, the audio will sound different to you than what it sounds to me you know, sitting here in front of the radio. So anyhow, enjoy it. Hope it helps you in your decision-making or whatever. Have a great day. I had a lot of fun. We'll talk to you later. This is Scott, KK4Z73.